Good morning children. Today we shall learn about subtraction of integers. That is how to subtract integers. First, what are integers? This is the representation of integers on a number line. Here we have 0 and the positive integers which are nothing but the counting numbers placed on the right side of 0. Next, we also have negative integers which are on the left side of 0. Now, let us try subtracting integers. First, we will subtract positive integers. What is 6 minus 4 equal to? For this, we will move 6 steps on the right side of 0 and to subtract 4 we will move 4 steps from 6 in the backward direction so this is 6 now we need to subtract 4 so we will move 4 steps backward where do we reach we reached 2 so 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 and this we already know. Now we already know about addition of integers. So what is 6 plus minus 4? That is we are adding a negative integer to the positive integer. We already know addition is opposite of subtraction and as we saw in the addition of integers, what is 6 plus minus 4 equal to? For this, first we move to 6. And now we need to add a negative integers. For this, we moved backwards by 4. And here again, we reached 2. So, 6 plus minus 4 is equal to 2. What do we see? We see that 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 and also 6 plus minus 4 is equal to 2. What does it imply? That subtracting 4 from 6 is same as adding minus 4 to 6 and in both the cases we got the answer as 2. Now what do we learn from this? We saw 6 minus 4 is same as 6 plus minus 4 and in both the cases answer was same which is 2 and if you observe what can we see? We can say minus 4 is additive inverse of 4. And what does it lead to? We can conclude subtracting a number for example 4 is same as adding its additive inverse that is minus 4. So here we see subtraction operation can be changed to addition operation by change of subtraction to addition and then adding the additive inverse of the second number like instead of subtracting 4 we are adding minus 4 and the answer is same so remember children subtraction can be changed to addition operation by adding the additive inverse of the second number. As we saw 6 minus 4 was changed to addition operation as 6 plus and then we took additive inverse of 4 which is minus 4 and we got the answer as 2. Now we will try to subtract negative integers what is 6 minus minus 4 equal to? Again, 
Let's try to change it to addition operation. First, what is the additive inverse of minus 4? It is equal to plus 4. Now, we change this to addition operation as 6 plus additive inverse of minus 4 which is plus 4. And if we simplify, this is equal to 6 plus 4. And 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. So, we got the answer. Rather, we can say we simplified this operation by doing addition. Now, here again we have different example of subtracting negative integer. Now, let us try to do this again on a number line. So, first 6. Here we get 6. Now, we need to do minus of minus 4. Generally for subtracting, we go in backward direction, meaning towards the left side. But here we need to do minus of minus 4. So, we will move in forward direction, that is right side of 0. So, let's move to the right side by 4. And we reach to 10. So, we get the answer as 10, which means 6 minus minus 4 is equal to 6 plus 4, which is equal to 10. And this is what we did numerically also before. Now, another example, what is minus 4 minus minus 6 equal to? Here again, it is so confusing. Minus, minus, minus. What to do? Again, let's try to do it with addition. For this, we need to find the additive inverse of minus 6. So, additive inverse of minus 6 is plus 6. Now that we know the additive inverse, we can change this to addition operation. So, we get minus 4. Instead of minus, we write plus and instead of minus 6, we take the additive inverse of minus 6 which is plus 6. So, we get here plus 6 and this gets reduced to minus 4 plus 6. And now, this is simple to do. We just subtract the smaller number from bigger number and put the sign of the bigger number or the greater number. So, 6 minus 4 it is equal to 2 and we put the sign of the greater number which is positive only. So, the answer is 2. This if we will do it on the number line it would be first we go to minus 4 and now we need to do minus of minus 6 which means minus and minus becomes plus. So, we will move in right direction by 6 and where do we reach? 2. So, this is equal to plus 2 and this is the exact answer we got numerically also which we did before. Now, let us see how we did subtraction using the additive inverse. So, 6 minus minus 4 was changed to addition as 6 plus plus 4 and we got the answer as 10. Next, we did minus 4 minus minus 6 and this got changed to minus 4 plus plus 6 which is equal to minus 4 plus 6 and the answer was 2. Next, 6 minus plus 4 which became equal to 6 plus minus 4 and the answer was 6 minus 4 equal to 2. Lastly, we saw minus 6 minus minus 4 which was equal to minus 6 
plus 4 and we got the answer as minus 6 plus 4 so the answer was minus 2 in all the cases what do we see we added the additive inverse like 4 is the additive inverse of minus 4 6 is the additive inverse of minus 6 minus 4 is the additive inverse of plus 4 and 4 is the additive inverse of minus 4 so we simplified the subtraction by adding the additive inverse and all these were additive inverse which we added for the second number so remember children how to do subtraction of integers subtraction can be changed to addition operation by adding the additive inverse of the second number and hence 6 minus 4 became 6 plus minus 4 where minus 4 is the additive inverse of 4 and this became equal to 2 so now we know how to subtract integers that's all for now bye bye children